let's get some Illustrator content into Blender. So I'm here inside of Illustrator, and if I grab my Direct Selection tool, you can see if I drag over this artwork, we've got just that some nice simple artwork. So the first thing we need to do is save this as an SVG file. So File, Save As, let's change this format from Illustrator to SVG, pop it out on the desktop, choose Save, bunch of settings just here, we'll run with the defaults, choose OK. Let's jump into Blender. Now I wish to uh, select and delete everything, so I'm just going to press A, X, Delete. So we've got ourselves a nice blank canvas. Notice there's nothing up here either. Okay, so let's go up to File, Import, Scalable Vector Graphics. From the desktop, logo.svg, import SVG. Now it looks like nothing happened down here, but up here we can clearly see that some curves have been imported. What gives? Well, by default, those curves generally come in extremely small. So if I mouse select over here, if I press S for scale, I drag up with my mouse, you can see I can make these nice and visible finally. And actually, I had it been uh, played with this ahead of time, I want to scale this up by a factor of 50. So I'll just press 50 and then press return. So here are those paths looking great. And I might just uh, demonstrate a couple of things before I make a few changes just here. So um, I'm just going to uh, select these just here and prove to you that these are still editable paths. Um, just up here, object mode, I'm going to change that to edit mode. You can see there's all of our little paths just there. And I could, for example, just select those if I wish to move them just inside the x-axis, G, X, and drag, and I can easily move these points around. Now I'm just going to press the escape key, escape key to cancel out of there. Just wanted to prove to you that this has come in still as nice vector content. Let's jump back into uh, object mode just there. Now guys, you don't have to do this. I'm just going to select all of these and combine them into a single curve, just, uh, just for simplicity. Again, you don't have to do this. So having selected them all, just up under object, I'm going to choose join. And what I might do is just to make things very clear what's going on, I might change this color from black to something a little brighter. So uh, having selected our path just here, I'm going to come down to this little guy just here, the material properties. And let's change the base color to something brighter, maybe like a blue. And uh, let's uh, really crank up the metallicness just here so this thing will catch the light. Very nice. Okay, so again, just clicking away. You can see we've already got some really nice edges coming in here. Very nice and sharp and smooth all at the same time there. Now guys, at this point you might be tempted to start um, adding modifiers, maybe breaking this part apart into a mesh. You can certainly still do that, but one thing I highly encourage you to explore first are these little curve options just down here. So let's uh, click on our guy just out here, and we're looking for this little green curve just here. If I click on that, this will actually bring up some curve information for us to play with. Now, the main one I'm going to point out for you today here is the geometry section. So if I twirl that down, I want you to firstly see there is an extrude section just here. So um, we can dial in any number we like here. I'm just gonna tap the uh, right arrow just once here to give us a 0 0.01 meter extrusion just here. And I'll just click away to get rid of that highlight. And look at that. We have got some fantastic edges there guys. Just want to have it catch the light just there. So that's already looking fantastic, reminding you these are still live curves which we can change at any point. And I'll demonstrate that again for you in just a moment. And uh, the other fantastic option just in here is the bevel option. So I'm going to come down to bevel option and click on the right arrow just once. And clearly that's way too big. So instead of 0 0.01, let's go for 0 0.001 and commit that, and I'll just zoom in again here, and look at that, guys. That is fantastic. Again, this is all still live. These are all still curves that we can happily change. So we haven't even turned this into a mesh yet. We might not even have to. So just to prove my point just here, having clicked on this, if I go up to Object Mode and change that to Edit Mode, there are those points again. I can easily select those. Again, G and X to move those. And there we go.
Let's just jump back into object mode and for the last time, enjoy our lovely artwork just there. Alrighty guys, I hope that gives you some uh, nice ideas about how you can uh, potentially bring in Illustrator artwork into Blender. Hope that helps. Catch you later.